Hi, in this lesson, we'll take a look at Bootstrap's drop-down menus. Drop-downs are a great way to pack more options into a navbar while keeping the interface simple. By adding the drop-down Bootstrap class to navigation buttons within a div element, you can quickly add a drop-down menu with a clean style. Here are just a few drop-down Bootstrap classes that you can use in combination with one another depending on your web page design. More drop-down options and examples are available in the Bootstrap docs. Let's now take a look at some examples using the drop-down bootstrap class in the editor. So here we are in the editor where we'll take a closer look at how we can create basic drop-down menus. As you can see, we already have a drop-down button on our page, and if we click on it, we can see all the items that it contains. This drop-down menu consists of a first choice, second choice, and third choice item. And if we click on the button again, we can hide all of these items. Great, let's now take a closer look at how we created this drop-down menu. If we scroll down, we can see that it all starts with this div element, and we've given it the class drop down. Inside of this div element is where we can add our button and menu. For the button, we use the button tag, the class attribute, and give it the value of btn, btn info, and drop down toggle. This class is just to give our button that drop down button look. We then specify the type to be button, and then data bootstrap toggle to be drop down. This attribute is used to tell the page that it's dealing with a dropdown whenever the button is toggled. Lastly, we just add some text to our button so it could be a little bit more descriptive. Next, we create our menu, which is technically just an unordered list, and it's given the class dropdown menu. We then add the list items, which are anchor tags that are given the class dropdown item, and then an href of just hash, since we don't need them to link to anything for now. And that's how we can create a basic dropdown menu. Let's now add another drop-down menu by creating each element one by one. So just like before, we'll start with a div element and give it the class drop-down. Next, we'll add our button. We'll give it a different class this time so it can look a little bit different. Okay, then we'll make the type equal button. And lastly, we'll set the data bootstrap toggle to drop down as well. We'll add some text to this button as well. And then we can hit refresh to see what it looks like. Great, so now we have an info button and a danger button. If we click on the danger button right now, we don't see anything. That's because we haven't created the menu yet. Let's do that next. So still inside of the div tag, we'll need a ul tag. We'll give it the class drop down menu. And then we can add our list items. So for the list items, we'll use the anchor tag again and also use the drop down item class. We can also add more style to the text of the item by adding text danger. We'll then add the href, we'll make it hash as well, and then the text. Great, let's now refresh the page and see what we have. Awesome, so notice that now when we click our dangerous drop down button, we see the don't pick this one item and the text is red because we added the text danger value to our class. Let's now add a couple more items to this list. To do that, we can just copy and paste this list item. And then we can just change a few things. For the second item, we can make it a text warning. And we'll say don't pick this one either. And then for the last item, we'll use a text success. And we'll say that this one is okay to select. Okay, let's now refresh our page one more time. And we'll click on our dangerous drop down button. And we'll see that we have all three of our items. So by using text danger, text warning, and text success, we're able to change the text color of our items. And that's how we create basic drop down menus using Bootstrap. Now it's your turn to go and explore creating your own drop down menus.